Ladies and gentlemen, Robin DiMaggio and his beautiful family, Mr. Robin DiMaggio. How does it feel being here tonight? You're so instrumental in tonight's uh, showcase of amazing and talented performers. I feel like I'm going to represent correctly tonight. <laughs> that says it all. Let's talk a little bit about ICT. ICT, Information, Communication, and Technology for the Development of Countries, right? Not only developing countries, which of course we're highlighting of the Global South, but even developed countries who really would love to advance you know, themselves more. You're you know, a native of, of Italy, I, and of course we've all pretty much grown up here in the United States. ICT is really something that the United States has truly, truly embraced. Does that make you proud? Extremely <laughs> proud. Extremely proud, of course, yes. Anything to evolve and to, to show education with technology, I think, is where we're going, obviously. What would you like to see happen in tonight's show in terms of the instrumentalists, of course, our vocalists tonight, and just really the theme of tonight where... We're talking about changing people's lives here. You know, we're, we're, it's fun and light that we're sharing this, this conversation, but it's truly the metamorphosis, if you will, of going from poverty to really well-being and health. So what does that mean for you? To me, it's something my wife taught me, which is pretty much awareness that we are all one. We're not higher or lower, or we should all look at each other as, as earthlings, and, and we are one people. And you know what, I have to ask your beautiful wife. We know a lot of these countries are being um, honored and acknowledged for empowering women and children. You're a mother of three beautiful boys. Tell us what your thoughts are in terms of how information or communication technology, or whether it's cell phones or broadband technology, can really make sure and help a family, right? Make sure that you're, you're communicating with each other, you know where your sons are, and even for yourself, that your doctors are wired in, let's say, and they know the latest and greatest in healthcare. I absolutely agree. I couldn't agree more. I actually have cell phones for all three boys, and we live in Los Angeles where there are earthquakes, and that's always a possibility. So it's, it's a, um, a safety net, I guess, uh, so to speak, to know that we can reach them, and hopefully in case of an emergency, that would be the case. And Hansen, young man, you're not going to get out of here without me asking you a question. You know what climate change is, right? Yeah. We um, covered the UN every day at South South News, and we went to an event uh, on forests, right? So there's these kids about your age who basically plant a million trees in each country. And that's really phenomenal. And that's to make sure to prevent what's happening through climate change. Tell us if you can talk to world leaders who are here tonight, because you are right now, Tell us what you'd like to tell them to make sure that your life tomorrow and the life of your children is, in fact, a beautiful one. Um, I think everyone should just, like, do the best they can to help the world, just however possible, whenever possible. Because it's not hard to. Just the little changes can do great things. They sure know what to do, right? And they have the resources, right? Yes. They need more kids like you to tell them, just stop talking and do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can just get up, just do it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are amazing. So wonderful to meet you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.